All right, welcome everybody to the daily demo. We're going to do this weekdays until September 1st. That means until Friday, which gives you an opportunity to check out all things that are brand new and happening inside of Now AI and invite your guests to close out your month strong if you are sharing Now site with others, which is really, really exciting. Uh, we've had a ton of things happening with Now site over the past a few weeks and the introduction of Now AI. And to share all that with you and go through our what? Daily demo. We have our VP of Business Development, Adrian Chenault, who's going to lead the way today. Thanks, Adrian. Hello, hello, everybody. It is so good to see all of you. I am so excited to get to be the one to share Now AI with you today. I am, I, you know, I've been part of building this thing. So you would think I would know how good this is. And it has just blown me away. It has exceeded my expectations, both in my own experience getting to use this amazing tool and in hearing so many inspiring stories and awesome things from all of you. So I'm super excited. Uh, if you already have now AI, I want you to drop your name AI in the chat. And I want to give you guys some shout outs in the chat. So let's see some of your AIs in the chat. I already see Coach Paul AI up there. There's Wes AI, Tina AI, Sharice AI, Blakester AI, Carrie AI, Linda, Sam, Brenda. Oh my goodness. So many awesome, awesome things going on here. It's super, super cool. And you guys are killing it. It's so fun. I'm seeing, and this is what's cool too, right? Like I'm connected to many of you on Facebook. And so I'm watching your posts and sometimes you're letting me know that you created it with now AI. Sometimes you're not, but I have a feeling that that's where it comes from. And you're doing an incredible, incredible job with your posts. You're doing an incredible job and I'm seeing all of the engagement that you are receiving. And it just makes my heart happy. It inspires me. And so if you're new today, you are in exactly the right place. You're going to see everything that I'm talking about and why I'm so excited. And so without further ado, I'm going to draw, I'm going to jump in here. We're going to get this thing going and I am excited to share it with you. So I'm going to give a quick overview um, and show you kind of what it looks like and feels like to get started with Now AI. And then we're going to go into hands-on mode and we're going to start playing with this thing together. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing and how you can do the same thing and how easy it is because that's the big thing, right? It's got to be easy. It's got to be fun. It's got to feel good. And I think you'll see that all of those things are true with Now AI. So super excited. Let me jump in here and, uh, and let's get this going. So it is when we created Now AI, it's our intention to massively disrupt the network marketing profession by solving your biggest challenges. If you're in network marketing, we get what it's like to build a business. And if you're not in network marketing, I want you to know, and I want you to just ask yourself this question as you go along, because what you'll find is that this is so applicable to any entrepreneur that you're going to see everything you want here. But we designed with some specific needs of network marketers in mind that I think you're going to really, really love. Your personal brand, right? Your social media posts, your communications, your relationships, your team management. These are big challenges. These are important things. They're critical to the success of being a network marketer. And we are solving those biggest challenges with the magic of AI. So what is now AI? Now AI is you. It's the AI version of you. And so what that looks like is that you start by training your AI so that it knows you, so that it thinks like you, so that it writes like you, so that you have this extension of yourself that makes doing the things that help you to be successful in your business so much easier. And so let's look at what that experience looks like. When you first get now AI, you actually get to interact with your AI and it interviews you. It asks you some questions to learn about who you are. It starts by asking your name, right? Obviously that's the, the best place to start. And then it's going to ask you some questions about your background and your family and your interests and your business and all of the things about you that make you 
you so that it can learn how to embody those things and help you to be so much more successful on social media and beyond. So once it does that, it goes, okay, cool. I think I have a feel for who you are. You know, here's some of the, the interests that I pulled out of our conversation that might be things that you'd be interested to post about. And you can actually add to that if you want to, or you can even deselect certain things if there's things that you'd rather not post about on social, but you can fine tune that. And the same thing for popular figures, you have the ability, it says, cool, here's some people that I think would be inspiring to you based on who, what you shared about yourself. And you can add to that, you can subtract to that, and that's going to form some basis for how you are then able to share quotes or to pull from other types of content and so on. So it's a great way for this thing to learn who you are. Next up, it needs to learn how to write like you, and it's so simple and easy to do this. You share a writing sample. So if you want it to sound like the way that you already sound, you just give it a, a, a recent post, something that you have recently put together, and it's going to learn how to write like you, and then you can fine tune it. Maybe you don't like the way you write, or maybe it's really hard for you to write confidently. Maybe you want to instead give it somebody who you aspire to sound more like, and you can give it that for your writing sample. So you can do it either way. And then it goes, okay, it analyzes that, and it says, okay, cool, I, it seems like, you know, not, not very much on the humor scale. It's a little bit more on the serious side. You know, you're informal in your style. You're, you don't use a whole lot of emojis, just a little bit. And you can then slide those things up and down and you can fine tune your writing so that it is writing in a tone that is exactly like the way that you want to sound. It's so cool. It's so fun to get to play with this because you're getting that right there and then. And so then once you've done those things, now it's time for you to meet your AI. And so you start off and, and you have this conversation with your AI and it starts off by giving you this, this sort of personal motto about who you are. And they're so fun. It's so cool seeing the mottos of all of the different folks who have gone through this already. It's so inspiring. Then next up, you it tell, retells your story in an amazing, inspiring way. And again, it's like you're meeting yourself, but maybe a better version of yourself, or maybe that version of yourself that captures all the essence, all the best things about who you are in this inspiring way. Then it gives you a personality analysis, and it actually gives you some insight into who you are that's going to help you as you grow your business and as you share more about who you are. And so in literally just a matter of minutes, you have your personal brand built instantly by an AI version of you. And this is literally just the onboarding. This is literally just those first couple of minutes of you getting to experience now AI. And so now it's time to go into hands-on mode. Let's see what we can do with now AI now that we have our hands on it. So let me switch over here and I'm going to share my screen with you. And we're going to play with this. I'm going to show you what it looks like once you're through that. And we're going to start to create together using now AI. One second here. My first time using Zoom, you're just going to have to bear with me. <laughs> Almost there. There we go. Now I know what I'm doing here. Now I'm good. All right. So, uh, so here we go. When you land on your home screen, you're going to get this dashboard that's going to make it easy and, uh, and help you to now start creating content. And the thing that I'm going to focus on the most today is the social post, because I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about how this is working for me. And I'm also so excited about what I'm seeing and hearing from all of you about how this is working for you. So I'm going to spend a good bit of time emphasizing that part today. And then we'll go into a few other things as well. So here on the, on the homepage, I can actually chat with my AI, which I'll show you a little bit about that later, but I can go and I can start creating social posts. And this is so easy and so fun and so powerful. And so I'm really excited for you to see it. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples uh, from my life over the last couple of days that I think will help you to kind of see what this looks like and how powerful it really is. And so the first one that I want to do, if you were with us on Thursday, I shared that I, over the weekend, was going to go on this epic hiking trip with 
some of my best friends, we do this every year. This is the fourth year that we've done it. And we go climb these 14,000 foot peaks. And so I'm going to go and I have these different options. I can, uh, I can have it write me a post and suggest an image for me, or I can give it my own image and it will write the post for me, or it can do a short text only post. And we're going to keep adding to what, what's here as we go along in the future as well. But in this case, I want to caption my image because I'm going to share one of the pictures or a couple of the pictures from over the weekend uh, here in the chat. Or, or here in my post rather. So uh, this is going to be uh, the four of my friends and I. So it's going to be the four of us uh, at the top of Mount Evans, 14,000, I think it, let me look, I wrote it down, 265 feet. So 14, 265 feet. So that was one of the three mountains that we climbed. And this is the three of us together. Um, and I'm going to, rather than make you guys read this, uh, I typed this out, or may, may, rather than make you guys watch me type this, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this part, because otherwise uh, you'll realize how bad of a speller I am. So my, my prompt that I gave this is that, so over the weekend, I did a 10-hour mountain climbing adventure with three of my best friends. We spent five hours over 14,000 feet. We had a rain, and we ended up, it was ridiculous. We had to, like, hike through this, like, muddy willow played at the end and so we were like literally up to our knees in mud at the end of this thing and so this is my post that I want to do and I, I want it to be an inspiring post so I'm going to choose inspiring for my objective but I can choose my objectives I can change my tone if I want to and so let's go ahead and we're going to generate this post and we'll see what it looks like here together I'm so excited this is awesome hold on a second we got a couple people in the waiting room here all right so over the weekend, I, I embarked on an epic 10-hour mountain climbing adventure with three of my best friends. We challenged ourselves by spending five hours above 14,000 feet, braving the rain and trudging through a muddle, muddy willow glade to reach our goal. It was tough, but the feeling of accomplishment at the top of Mount Evans, standing tall at 14,265 feet, was absolutely exhilarating. How good is that? How cool is that? So here's what I'm going to do. So I want you to see this it will allow me to create this post and it will change slightly the content for if I wanted to post it on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter or X. In this case, I want to go ahead and post it on Facebook. And so I'm going to, I'm going to come here. I'm going to click on get started and it's going to take me through to my Facebook so I can post it over on Facebook. And so now I'm over here on Facebook. I'm going to go into my post and I didn't need to do anything. I simply right click and paste and that post was already copied to my clipboard. So it was automatically there for me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the pictures from the weekend that I wanna share here. So I'm gonna share that one. I'm gonna share this one. I'm gonna share this guy. That was this, this is called Sawtooth. So we hiked like across this thing. It was insane. And then I'm also going to share, this is like the, the picture of us, uh, of our total trip. So it was about 11 miles that we did. So I'm going to post this. And literally, as you can see, like in a matter of seconds, I can go from just typing a simple prompt to being able to post something and I'm posting directly to my profile, right? So it's so easy, it's so simple, it's so powerful. And I've got this beautiful post now right here on my Facebook. And I have a feeling that it's going to do awesome. And let me tell you why I think it's going to do awesome because this actually feeds into the next post that we're gonna to create together. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. I'm gonna come back home and I am going to write, uh, an, I'm going to create another social post. And this social post, I'm going to go ahead and have it be uh, a, more of a promotional post. I want to talk about now AI, because this is what happened for me that I think is going to happen for you too. And it was amazing. So a uh, screenshot of my Facebook post from last week. And then here's my, let me grab this really quick. I, copied and pasted this ahead of time as well. So I posted about the fact that I was going on this trip on Thursday and I didn't know what to expect. Like I, I had no clue what to expect. Well, what happened was I had literally my best performing post 
in months in one of my best performing posts of all time on my Facebook as my first post that I have ever done with Now AI. I got 217 reactions so far, 77 comments, and it's still going, it's still growing now. And so I'm gonna generate my post based on that. And so here's, here's my post that I'm gonna generate. It's gonna go ahead and create that for me. And this is an opportunity, right, for, for any of you who not only are excited about Now AI yourself, but excited about sharing, right? You have these opportunities to share with others. So guess what? I just got Now AI and my first post is a total hit. It's already my best social post in months with 217 reactions and 77 comments, and it's still going strong. If you're looking to boost your online business, Now AI is the AI-enabled marketing tool you need. Let Now AI empower your marketing network marketing efforts and take your business to new heights. Get ready to see your engagement skyrocket. Dude, that is so good. So look at this. So now I'm going to grab the, the next thing I'm going to do is I had copied and pasted. Oops. You have to do the part about uh, going over to Facebook before you drag and drop the picture. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on get started. It's going to take me over to Facebook. And, uh, and so now I've set up the post just like last time, right? So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to click on new post. I'm going to right click and paste it. And just like before, right, I can take my post. And in this case, it's a screenshot of what I had before, uh, a screenshot of that post in the performance of that post. And I can put that right here. Um, so I'm not going to post this one just yet. I'm going to save this for later because uh, I don't want to post two posts that I think are actually going to perform extremely well back to back. Um, so I'm going to just, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what's cool is it's actually, it'll save that for later. So I can actually come back to that and post it later on. So I'll probably post that in a few hours later today, um, but I'm, I'm not gonna post it yet, but you can just see how easy this is. And again, it's so cool that you actually can use this to, you can use Now AI to, to be able to share about what you're doing and to help other people who might also benefit. So that's super cool. I want to share one last uh, one that's maybe a little bit more of kind of a, a personal post as well, um, just to give you uh, another example of like, you can, this can be about anything, right? Like there's so many ways to be able to use this. So I'm going to go back home. I'm going to create a social post and we'll just do one more. Um, so, so this is a kind of crazy thing happened over the weekend. Um, and so I'll share the story here in a second. So, um, so this is going to be, oops. Sorry. There we go. Hugo with his bike is the picture. And then I'll grab the, the post here. So uh, over the weekend, on Thursday, I left on Thursday night. Uh, overnight on Thursday, my seven-year-old little boy Hugo's bike got stolen off of our porch. And so my wife, which it was like, uh, it was this big Christmas gift this year. It was a really nice bike. He was like, like devastated. And so my wife's like, ah, oh. so we end up posting, my wife like puts a post out on Facebook and sends it to a bunch of, of friends and a bunch of other moms and dads in the area that we know with a picture of the bike. Oops, I did something wrong here. Hold on, let me fix it. Um, so, um, so, so we did, uh, so she put out a post about this and like sent a picture of the bike and was like, hey, you know, if you guys like, I know this is a long shot, but could you keep an eye out for me? Um, you know, Hugo's bike got stolen. It's really special. Like if anybody sees it, please let me know. Well, literally that was Thursday night. So she, she sends that around on Friday. And on Saturday, our friend Alicia calls us and is like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm at the farmer's market. And these people just walked by with Hugo's bike. And I like confronted them and I got the bike back. And so no joke, we like ended up getting Hugo's bike back, which I was like, there is no chance that is going to happen. And so look at this post. Wow, what a roller coaster of emotions. Last week, my son Hugo's bike was stolen right off our porch. But thanks to the incredible power of our community, we were able to recover it. Alicia, a mom from school, spotted somebody at the farmer's market with the bike and didn't hesitate to confront them. She is an absolute hero. True. She, this whole experience reminds me of the importance of looking out for one another. Like this is so, I, I would never have been able to tie all of these things together. And this is just doing it for me perfectly in the moment. And so again, back over to Facebook, right? So quick, so easy. I open this thing up. I can right click. If I put it in the right place. I can paste. There we go. I've got my post. I can add that picture. 
right in there. This is Hugo with our friend Alicia with the bike finally getting it back. And so it is this easy. It's so, you know, instead of that space of how am I going to write this thing or how do I make this sound good or whatever it is, you are literally able in a matter of, of seconds to just write like you don't need to be a good writer. You don't need to know anything. You can just describe what happened and your AI is going to turn that into an amazing post. And so it's as simple as that. And even if you don't know what to post about, your AI will still help you. Your AI, you can literally type, I don't know in that section, and it will help you to come up with a post that fits what you're interested in based on what it already knows about you. So you have this truly unlimited ability to create meaningful, engaging social content every single day. And if you do that, if you just paint by numbers using what now AI can do for you, you are going to you, your engagement and then your conversations that you have off of the back of that engagement. And then ultimately your results in your business are going to go way up, right? Because this is what this is what it takes to build a successful business. You have to be putting stuff out there so that people can engage with you, so that you can have conversations. And it is not about being the most interesting person in the world. It is not about having this life that you assume is so interesting. Because no matter what, I promise you, the person who you assume has the most interesting life in the world, the story that they tell themselves is that their life is boring. Everyone has the story that they're not that interesting and that everyone else is, and it's not true. You are interesting. You have a story to tell. You have things to share. And this is going to help you to cultivate that and to fan that flame where you are having this ongoing engagement. And so now that that's happening, you have the ability to be able to use your AI to help you to reach out to people and to share about what you do. And so I have this ability to then take what I'm doing and to be able to share about what I'm up to. And so I can select a profile. Um, you, I'm going to pretend that this is, uh, these are some, some demo profiles that I've created in the past. So th this one's about uh, a, a charity sort of pop-up salad uh, business that where they had like a salad food truck sort of thing for that business. And so let's say I was posting about that. I start to get some engagement. And now I want to be able to connect with someone based on that. And I want to, to reach out to them. So let's say I, I'm connecting with them. I want to use my AI profile. I want to use my writing style. Uh, I just want to be friendly in this case, let's say as an example, and uh, we'll skip the merge tags. And, and so what I can do here is I can literally in the moment be able to, um, oh, we got to select the contact first. So we'll just, I'll, I'll use a, a contact. I'll use Tom Chenault as an example. There we go. All right. So we'll, we'll pretend that I'm using him in this case. And so I've got this contact, I've got somebody, and I now want to reach back out to them and I want to connect with them. And so um, thank them. Thank you for commenting on my post. Would you like to check out our salad bar? So that's that's what I want my post to or my my message to be about. So I'm going to generate a message right here on the fly based on on this uh, this example of of this post that I have. And so look at this. Hi there. Thank you so much for commenting on my post. I wanted to invite you to check out Salad Oasis, a unique. Uh, pop-up salad bar that not only offers delicious and healthy salads, but also supports a fantastic mission trip to the Dominican Republic. Like this thing is creating for me exactly the words that I would struggle or spend a lot of time putting together myself instantaneously in the moment. And if I wanted to, I can say, you know what, I really like this, but I want to make it shorter. Or I want to make it longer, or I want to make it funnier, or I want to change the language. I can literally do whatever it is that I want here on the fly, and I can instruct and work with my AI to adapt it to exactly what I want. So you have this incredible ability to do that. And so last thing I want to show you, there's there's so much to play with here, but this this is so powerful. If you are seeing how easy and powerful this is, 
for you to be able to start growing your business and your engagement faster than ever before? Give me a seven in the chat because I just, I, I know that this is so powerful. I know you are all seeing just how amazing this is. So the last thing I want you to see is that I want you, I want to encourage you and invite you to start just having a conversation and, and learning and working with your AI to help you. So I'm just going to start off with this, right? Who am I talking to? Right. So I'm talking here in I'm, I'm talking directly to my AI and I'm starting a conversation here and I'm just going to start with, hey, who am I talking to? You're talking to Adrian AI, an AI assistant created to assist and support you in your business endeavors. How can I assist you further? So it, it knows like this is I'm talking to the AI version of me. Right. And so, um, you know, yeah, I am not feeling inspired today. Can you suggest a couple of ideas for what I could post about social media based on what you know about me. So, oh, that happens every once in a while. Let me post it again. Um, so, so I can I can ask this to give me some support here. Gosh darn it! I think sometimes my internet connection goes a little wonky when I'm when I'm demoing on Zoom. Hold on one second. I'm gonna refresh this and that should fix it. There we go. Okay. So I, I went ahead and share, shared it again. And it says, of course, here, here are a couple of ideas for social media posts that align with your interests and activities. Showcase your love for pickleball. Share a photo or video of you playing pickleball at your favorite court. Mention what you enjoy most about the game and invite others to join you for a match. Very good. Very, uh, very apropos of, for those of you who know me, pickleball uh, <laughs> uh, is, uh, is something that I'm fired up about. Celebrate your culinary skills. Share a recipe or cooking tip that you've tried recently and enjoyed. Remember, using our social AI tool can help you optimize your social media posts and reach a wider audience. Let me know if you'd like more specific suggestions or assistance with crafting engaging content. So cool, so nice to have these different suggestions and different ideas. Um, yes, Janet, let me share an example where I changed the picture. So I, so so far I've I've used my own pictures instead of having it suggest an image. Um, and so let's we'll do one where we're actually talking about. Uh, so let's we'll follow one of those examples here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a social post, um, and we're going to do caption and suggested image, uh, and. So let's do, uh, let's, we'll make this an entertaining post. Um, I love great restaurants. Create an engaging post about the best restaurants. That's not even really good English, which is perfect, right? So I like, what I'm hoping for is it's going to help me to create something that's going to have some, you know, some background on talking about great restaurants and, and creating some engagement there as a result. So let's see what we get here. And, uh, and you can see how it gives you the, the images here. There we go. <laughs> that is so me. I, uh, my wife's like, why are you always taking pictures of, uh, <laughs> of, of your food? So looking for the best restaurants in town, look no further. I've compiled a list of my all-time favorites that are sure to satisfy your cravings. So that's cool. That, that's, I, I, that sounds like a little bit of work for me, right? I don't necessarily want to create that list. So let's just try it again. And let's, we're going to, and, and play with this, right? This is the beautiful thing. So all I did here is I, co I, cr um, clicked generate again, and we'll see. And I, I think what is happening, and if it does it again, what I'll do is it's thinking I want to post about all the best restaurants. So I might need to change my prompt a little bit. Looking for the best, the top not restaurants in town, look no further. So that's not what I mean. So let's say I would create an engaging post asking my friends to share their favorite restaurants. Right, so this thing is awesome, but if I don't communicate clearly, sometimes it uh, it understands what I communicated instead of what I meant to communicate, which wasn't there. So I'm going to regenerate that message, and uh, and now we'll have it do it, and I suspect that we'll get it right now because I now spoke better English. So 
I, I love this. And I love that it's allowing me to do that. Hey friends, Adrian here. And I love great restaurants. Let's share our favorite spots to eat. Drop a comment below and let me know which restaurant makes your taste buds dance. I love that. And what a cool picture, right? It's kind of this cool, engaging restaurant picture. And so you can see all of these different posts uh, and formats and copy as a result of this. And so I love playing with this. And this is one of the things that I want you to know is that you know, don't you can't break this thing. Don't hesitate to do that. So one of the things that I would love to do, because I like I mentioned before, I've been hearing from so many of you and seeing so many of you guys out there starting to use this thing. Would anybody like to just share like maybe 30 seconds, like just a really quick share about how you have been using now AI and how that's been helping you so far? Feel free to to uh, to raise your hand and we'll get you unmuted. This is super cool. Yeah, thank you, Janet. That was a really good suggestion. I'm, I'm glad you had me go over there. All right, what's up, Sam? Let's get you unmuted. Hold on here. There we go. Hey, buddy. Hey, family. How are you? Great. Fantastic. Yeah, I've been using it for motivation every day. I, I punch in like... Uh, like today's Monday. So I'll go on Monday and I'll create, I'll say, create me a motivation Monday. Um, something for just, just motivation. It has nothing to do with business. It's just motivating people. Everyone needs a little bit of motivation on Monday. So I'll create motivation Monday, terrific Tuesday, um, wealth building Wednesday. So I'll just take the day and just decide you know, let's put something something kind out there. Let's put something motivational out there. Let's put something that will get people to realize that, you know, there's people out there to care. That's so life. cool. I, I love that. And 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 so two things. One is you didn't have to you know, just give me something about motivation. Like there's that that's so perfect, right? Because your AI is going to help you to come up with the the perfect message based on that. You didn't have to put a huge amount of thought or or research or anything into that. And it's all you're making it about your audience. You're making it about you know something that's going to be powerful and engaging. So Sam, thank you. That's super cool. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'll, I'll, this is just incredible, mind blowing. Awesome, brother. Thank you. The Blakester, what's up, brother? Good. Good morning, outside family. Well, two quick things, man, because I know we're having some fun here. Um, I don't typically have a problem with coming up with uh, creativity as far as engagement and stuff. Uh, but what this does is it helps me speak more eloquently. And jokingly, I like to say I teach people how to talk purdy. Well, this helps teach me how to talk even purdier. And <laughs> the second thing about it is being able to now go out and have that uh, social media influence on those other applications with just a, a whoosh, as we like to say, because some of us, if you're like myself, our main audience is just on Facebook. Now that we have this tool, I'm now able to go to LinkedIn and Instagram and X. So fabulous, fabulous stuff. Love it. Keep it up. You guys are awesome. I love you. Awesome job. Thank you so much. That's really, really good. All right, next up, we got Brenda. Let me get you unmuted here. Good morning. Hi, Brenda. Hi, good morning. Um, I was uh, using the, um, the AI tool this weekend and I posted on Facebook uh, on all the social media platforms. And I, I think I messed it up and I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. I had... I had um, gone hiking up this mountain with a couple of friends and a dog, and uh, the dog was doing its thing, <laughs> messing with all the other dog and loving on people. But anyway, um, the um, what I did when I did the post was there was a few things that I wanted to tweak, and I do a lot of editing, and so when I did the editing, I didn't go back and regenerate the the. Uh, um, I guess you're supposed to, instead of just, you can't just go in and edit it. You have to actually regenerate it, apparently. Because yeah. when I when I edited it, it was okay on Facebook, but right. it was the same on all the other platforms and it, it didn't change at all. And so um, I guess you, you can't just go in there and edit. You have to actually regenerate until you get what you want. Is that correct? 
Yeah, so so you can do it one of two ways, right? If you regenerate it till you get what you want, then you're going to have that sort of it, it's going to complement across the different platforms. Or this, or what you can do is exactly what you did, Brenda, which is you could take it to Facebook and then you could make those edits on it before actually posting it on Facebook. So it's totally up to you which way you want to do it. Um, but if you want, if it's not quite right and you edit it, it that edit isn't going to like. Facebook can't talk back to now AI to like change that prompt for Instagram and Twitter and so on. Um, so it's just, it's a matter of, of which one works best for you. Okay. So the, the other question I had was, um, um, I know that we're supposed to be posting at least two or three times a day on whatever social media platform. So okay. um, that is, a, it's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> and I'm wondering, is there a tool that we can use that will, automatically program this stuff in so that you know I'm not all day long trying to figure out well I got to do three posts today on 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 all the social medias um there's yeah. got to be yeah. something to make it easier I, I gotta ask a question real quick who said that me Cheryl oh, oh hi Cheryl how long does it take you be without now AI I wasn't doing it period there you go. it was just to too me. long <laughs> You no, want so, easier than what? Ten minutes? Five minutes? What? Say that again. I said, does it take you like five or ten minutes? Are you looking for easier than five minutes? Well, I'm looking for something that I want to schedule. You want to it automate out. it? Yeah, but I want to schedule like, it out. I mean, if if I have a week out, I want to mm -hmm. schedule out the week. I don't want to just come at it, you know, off the fly. I want to have something scheduled so that I can do that. It's, it's done, and I can go do something else. Cool. So, so, so two things and, and we're, so just so you guys know, we'll, we're going to leave some time for questions at the end. So what right now, what we're mostly doing is talking about kind of just how like the, your experience, like kind of quick 30 seconds of how we're using now AI so far, but Brenda, just to kind of close that question out, what I would say is if it's helpful for you, keep your little running tab of some ideas that you want to use and then just schedule your times to come out and, and do that, you know, so it's like, okay, cool. Like I, like I already have the idea. I took some time to do that and then I can come back and do it later. It's really easy to do it that way. Um, but also you're going from nothing to something. And so don't put pressure, you know, like you don't have to have pressure on, I have to go from nothing to perfect, go from nothing to something. And then you'll kind of give you, give yourself that grace to get there. So awesome share. Thank you, Brenda. And uh, we got Mr. Kim Mulatto in the house. What's going on, Kim? Hey, man, how are you? Great. So I just want to kind of share uh, with everybody, you know, this is kind of going back and forth with Coco, trying to understand this AI and stuff. Um, it's no different. I mean, some of you know, when I first came to NowSite, I didn't know anything about branding. I didn't know anything about marketing. Ten months later, you see the Kim Mulatto now, <laughs> right? And it's all because of what you learn through the training that's provided to NowSite. Now you have the now AI. My best advice that was given to me was communicate with your now AI so that your now AI can get to know you. So I've been doing that for the last seven days. And it's amazing the recommendations that AI provide. Okay. Now, I'm not sure where we're at on the team side. If uh, maybe Cheryl can answer this question or, or Adrian, but well, we'll the people who are currently you. in your team, like in the team, the team chat that we manage that one team are those people noticed by the now ai where we can start programming on that side or how how is it working right now we'll uh we'll we'll save questions for the end okay kim oh okay 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 awesome man all right sounds but, good so we're gonna do daria alexan and laura and then uh we're gonna wrap a few things up and we'll and then we'll make sure we leave some time for questions at the end so uh if it's a if you have a question go ahead and lower your hand for now and we'll come back to it at the end but i want to hear just a couple more examples uh kind of 30 seconds or so from some of you of how you are using now ai to help you so daria you're up hi happy monday this is daria here Oh, Julia, um, I'm sorry. Thank no, you. No, no problem. I am super excited about this tool. Um, I'm getting a lot of great feedback. They seem to like my personal pictures over than the stock images they suggest. Um, but it's been giving some really good turnout. I didn't know what to do this morning. So I asked for um, inspiration. Well, no, I said, um, surprise me in there. And 
It said, um, the purpose of life is not to be happy, it's to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to, ha to um, have it make uh, some difference that you have lived and lived well. Let's embrace our purpose and make a positive impact on the world. It's been really great. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Super inspirational for a Monday morning. And then to um, also, I realized that you can put several things on there. You can cut and paste and put it to the side. And then you can put it in um, to get it generated on your business page. And it will automatically post on that. So if you can take some time in the front and just put some ideas, let it generate for you, copy and paste and put it to the side and then use it later, it works perfectly. Thank y'all. Jurea AI is on fire. That's awesome. Thank you so much and uh, really great share. I appreciate it. All right, what's going on, Alex Ann? Hi, I'm excited about this. Uh, yesterday was my first time playing around with it. I'm getting ready to launch a business here soon. So I asked it to um, inter do an introduction post to the launch of my business. And I was blown away. I was like, wow, I didn't even need to edit it. I didn't post it, but I'm playing around with it. And today I have four hours on my schedule to go through some of the um, just videos and I'm just excited. That's why I wanted to come on here. I'm blown away. That is so awesome. Thank you. And I'm, this is just gonna, this is the perfect timing and the perfect thing as you launch your new business. I'm so excited for you. So thanks for sharing. Thank you. All right, what's going on, Laura? Hello, hello, everyone. Um, in the words of Kawan Mayo, um, documentation beats conversation every single time. Uh, Cheryl and I, I've been corresponding with her and talking about how I've been using this in every facet of social media, not just on your Facebook, but I'm a Twitter girl and I'm a TikToker. So on my Facebook, I just want to let y'all know my engagement was improved by 288% in the last 30 days. I consistently use um, our generator to go back over everything I say. I give it an idea and it runs with it every day. And that brought my total reach on my Facebook page this month to 96,907 views. So spend your time, y'all, wisely, your five minutes. Holy smokes. Laura, that is the right kind of documentation and that is giant. Thank you so much. And congratulations on all the success that you're creating. That's an inspiration for all of us. And so very well done. Boom. There it is. I love it. I love it. Thank you. So if you don't already have your hands on this thing, I, I'm sure you're all chomping at the bit. I'm sure you're all going, okay, how, like, where do I go to start creating results like Laura is creating? Where do I go to start having this thing help me to create content every day like Dorea was sharing? Where do I go to have this thing amp up my motivation like Sam was sharing about? Where do I go so I can talk purtier like Blakester? You want to be out there. You want to get your hands on this thing. And so the way to do that, make sure if somebody invited you to come and join us today, make sure you reach out to the person that invited you and they can share a link with you where you can go and do that. We have an amazing launch special going on right now where you can save over 60%. You can get Now AI for just $49 a month or $490 for the first year. And this thing is literally changing lives. It's changing businesses. And you're just getting a tiny, tiny sample of what these testimonials and what these results are out there in the marketplace. I'm so excited and so inspired by all of you. And if you are already an existing NowSite customer and you want to get your hands on this, or if you want all of the details so that you can get access, all you need to do is go to august2023.now.site. All of the details are over there. And we'll make sure that uh, that you have all of the resources that you need. And so with that, uh, I know we uh, we always save some time for Q&A at the end today. And so we'll open this thing up and uh, and we'll take some questions. So if you've got a question, go ahead and raise your hand and uh, we'll go ahead and go to Mr. Jake Snow. What's going on, Snowman? Oh, you got to unmute though. Jake, you got to unmute, buddy. Sorry. Sorry about go. that. 
technologically unsound. Um, I have about 200 cartoons of the snowman that I've had made over the last couple of years. And now over the last week, you know, they're just, they're everywhere in my computer. And now these social posts, the snowman's doing all kinds of crazy stuff, you know, and this, this technology is ridiculously cool. And I have um, more motivation, if that makes any sense, more inspiration because I have, I'm smarter now because I have something like that to help me and help you <laughs> have a good day, guys. Love that, Jake. Thank you so much for sharing. And you are a seriously inspirational guy. So I'm so glad you're getting all that out there. That's awesome. Hello, Jim. We got to get you unmuted here. Yep. Thanks. Yep. Uh, I, just had a, I had a quick question because uh, several people had talked about the uh, social media. So I'm, I'm one of those people who is never big on social media. I only have a Facebook account. But I see the power in having this and using this with a lot of other social media sites. Uh, if I'm going to do that, am I better off creating, I, I, I guess for anyone who can answer this, uh, am I better off creating it under my own personal profile or under a business name when I'm creating new social media sites? Because I don't know if it's better to do it as my business because that's what I'm promoting or if it's better to do it as me because social, social media may be better on a personal level. I am staunchly a believer of the of the idea that people buy from people. And so I think that people are buying you first, Jim, and then your yeah. business. And so I highly recommend both from an algorithm perspective and from a, a just sort of marketing perspective that you do it based on you first and then you weave in your business. Okay. Okay. That awesome. was... Uh... That's basically the question. I wanted to know if I was going to create it the right way. Um, I thought about doing it personalized. So you, you've answered that for me. Thanks. Awesome, buddy. Thanks. Glad you're here. Yep. Yep. All right. Who else has a question? You guys are so shy today. What is this? Never seen this before. I must have done an incredible job. <laughs> Always an incredible job. Always. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Thank you. Hi, Sean. There we go. Adrian, quick question. Is there um, a suggestion on the, so like a social media strategy per se of like, hey, on this day, so you can kind of come up with the template. Is there anything in there? Um, two things. One, don't overthink it. Uh, two, I would say you, Cheryl shared some really great stuff. And Cheryl, if you want to talk about this a little bit in, during our personal branding boot camp. Um, uh, around, you know, they're like, I think the key is that it needs to be a mix. And so Cheryl, I don't know if you want to share some of what, you know, kind of a quick version of that. I think that's a really good kind of rule of thumb. Sure. Uh, Sam, I think your question is great, but also, um, no, it, it's kind of a look into the future of now AI, right? So you're asking a question, but in, in my eyes, I'm like, oh, I can't wait for Sean to have an opportunity to experience that um, in the future. However, I, I just stick to the phrase E-I-E and sometimes P. So that's how I do it, which is E stands for entertain, I is inspire, the other E is educate, and then it's sometimes promote. So I kind of follow that rule of thumb. It's what works and the objectives are kind of laid out that way for you too. They go into E-I-E-P. So yeah. There's you're a, right on the right track, but you're um, giving everybody a look into the future there, Sean. So good job. <laughs> okay, thanks. That's awesome. Thanks, Sean. All right, Kim. He's back. He said, "You said you were going to let me ask questions later. Now I'm at. Now I'm back for questions." Um. Yeah. Just like the current teams that we have in teams. So the people who are in the team. I know you can communicate with them, but. Can you integrate them with our now AI now or not yet? In the future. So not yet, right? So right. if I if I ask my now AI, they will pretty much not know what that team is, right? Correct. Okay. All right. Helps to unmute. I tell you guys to unmute and then I don't unmute. How good is that? Hi Sharon, how are you? Hello there. You know, I I finally dove into this and was having trouble because I got 
halfway through my AI profile and it stopped. And I've been reaching out for support. And I have to say, what I wanted to say here is your support is amazing because I write a support ticket, they respond to me. This guy, Mick Brown, I have no idea who he is. He seems to think, I don't know, we're connected, but he's willing to jump on a Zoom with me. So I know I'm going to conquer it today. And I just wanted to thank you for, you know, helping out so much. So not there yet, but I will. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, ne I never bet against Sharon. That's one, that's one of my rules in life. So that's awesome, Sharon. And thank you for coming on and sharing that. That's fantastic. <laughs> All righty. Love it. Mr. Dwayne Johnson, what's happening, man? Hey, Adrian. Thank you for taking my question. Um, real quick, I had a question with reels. Is, is, this, is this, how do you work with reels and also with stories? Curious about that. Or is it in the great. work? This is great. great. Question. Go ahead, if, I, if I may, is Laura Smith still on here? Laura yes, Smith, I'm, here. I'm here. Laura, <laughs> I'm going to ask Laura, do you want to answer this question? We could go on and on about reels, um, but I can promise you it is the fastest way to grow your audience. It's how I got those 96,000 views. Uh, reels, if you don't know anything about them on Facebook. Okay, I got to think. I, my mind's racing because I want to tell you all 20 things. But um, reels don't just go to your audience, your followers. They're evergreen. They do not disappear. So. Anybody that is not using reels every single day, you can do a compilation of pictures. You can do one picture and then go ahead over to our AI, write, you know, your post that's going to go with it. Tell it what, tell, tell AI, Hey, I want this for a reels on Facebook. And it will give you the exact right message that you need to be using. It's if you're not using that, and then you can also multipurpose that one reel because it gives you the ability to download it, especially if you're on your phone. So you can also go put that in your Instagram, your TikTok, and your story over on Facebook. So save your time. I got Cheryl like hooked on Reels and um, it's a game changer. Um, quick Yay! question with that to take on to that. So do you do your editing on Reels on a different uh, kind of platform and is still able to do it? I, I don't do anything fancy. So, I mean, if you're a TikToker, you could also download your whatever you make over there for um, content. So they have a zillion templates, a zillion templates, a zillion effects. And you can download that right onto your phone, then bring it right over to Facebook. So everything is interchangeable. Don't get like freaked out about, oh my gosh, it's got to be perfect. No, just get started. Just get started. Hey, Laura, uh, do you use CapCut at all? No, I don't use anything, y'all. And I she get she uses um, now say to create or now AI to create the caption and then puts her reel up. And that's what's getting her the engagement. She's using now AI to create the the um caption for her reel or for her TikTok or whatever, and then keeps it simple and look at the growth and the amazing uh, transformation mm -hmm. that she has had. There's it like I'm sorry, Laura, to kind of butt in, but no. Is she using any third party or making this more difficult than it needs to be? The answer is no. <laughs> no. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> and don't, don't like use that piece of content. And there's also, there are programs that with your TikTok that you can have it uploaded to a YouTube short. So, you know, you need to think about a comprehensive marketing plan. If you haven't, like, don't get stuck over here in Facebook. This is just for old people like me. I'm just turned 60. Um, you're going to want to reach out our you got to think about the market that we're trying to reach right now and who is actually sitting at the house. Who's sitting at the house, y'all? All those college kids, all those people that are going to be start paying those student loans back on October 1. So that's who we need to be reaching out to and marketing to our millennials and our Gen Zs who have all the skills and they're going to teach us something. Laura Smith, thank you. Ooh. You know, Laura the queen for nothing, but... Um, Laura Smith, thank you sincerely. Yeah, I know. So, How is she sixty? I ask her that probably the yeah. most. Um, all that the was the bombshell of that whole share, and there were many bombshells. 
That's awesome. Thank you, Laura. Super, super inspiring. And if anybody wants any ideas or help, you're all um, DM me. You know, I've been here with NowSite since day one when Cheryl and I got here. So, um, <laughs> you know, I, I've been, through, I know a little bit. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Ellis. So good. All right. What's up, Sam? Any thoughts on NowSite Mobile? NowSite Mobile. I, I know we do already have a NowSite Mobile, but how about part of UAI or yeah. NowSite AI being added to that NowSite Mobile? Is that is that in the works? In the works, I think I showed like a preview picture I probably shouldn't have showed on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got it. See, I'm not around to keep an eye on Cheryl and she just- I'm going wild. Scenes all over the place. I better go Fantastic. back and watch what Kat's got let out of the bag. <laughs> yeah, I have to go back to that. I was on a, I was doing a, a, a radio show. So I was, I missed that one. Awesome. Sounds good. Coming soon, Sam. Thanks. Hi, Richard. Hi. Can I make a couple of comments before my question? You get two it's comments only. Slow question. Are they all quick questions? I don't, I mean, quick question, quick question. And the other thing is, it, it it must be nice to be 60 and look like you're 30. <laughs> now my question is, I, when I post on my personal page on Facebook, and I figure it's there, and then it disappears, it goes on to my business page. What, what, what am I doing wrong? Hmm. Uh, you may have your post defaulted to... You, you may have your Facebook set up defaulting to post on your business page instead of on your personal. Huh. Um, and, How would I change that? Do you use it on your computer or on your phone the most, Richard? On your computer, yeah. On your computer. Um, do this. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll DM you and, and I'll, I'll help you to, because that's a little I mean, bit of- I can show them real quick. Okay, great. Cheryl's going to show you. Cheryl's much better on the fly. I can't think on my feet like Cheryl. There you go. It's right here. So see, this is my, I'm going to switch to the now site page. And then I just come here and I go to this account and I'll switch to my personal profile back and forth. So it's always right here on desktop. So you figure that's what I got to do, change in order. Because I mean, on my, my business page, I got maybe a couple hundred people and the other one, I might have a couple thousand. I mean, so there's going to be a difference in who sees it. I'll, right. okay, I'll try that and then I'll get back to more if it doesn't work. <laughs> Thanks, Cheryl. Nice job, Cheryl. Thank you. Yeah, see, that was a quick question, wasn't it? <laughs> it's shocking. I can't believe it, Richard. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Awesome. All right. I think that's going to be our last question for today. We are right on the top of the hour. If you are not inspired by what you're seeing and hearing today, I don't know what's wrong with you. Just kidding. <laughs> so I'm going to just share this one last time because uh, I know I got a couple messages in the chat of, of people asking. So if you uh, if somebody invited you to come and check out Now AI today, you've got the opportunity to get access uh, for a limited time just through the uh, through the next couple of days for over 60% off. Uh, and so you can see it's $49 a month or $490 for the year. So do make sure that you jump in there and take advantage of that opportunity. Reach out to the person who invited you here and all of the details you need are at august2023.now.site. So thank you everyone for being here. Great call today and we'll see you back here tomorrow for the daily demo. Bye-bye.